What is up guys, it is AJ from MMA Experts and we are talking about the fight between Curtis Blades and Derek Lewis. Big main event here. I'm super excited to see this fight. It is a high stakes heavyweight matchup. Definitely puts uh, the winner very close to a title shot. Probably not right up there next with Francis Ngannou in line. Potential John Jones move up. We still don't know exactly what he's going to do. But the winner of this fight is going to be in very good standing in the heavyweight division. For Derek Lewis, um, he has a win streak going three in a row. Um, his last fight was very good. It was a TKO victory in the second round of Alessio Olenek. But before that, wins over Blagoy Ivanov. Um, and, you know, he didn't look great in that match. It was a split decision. And then also against Ilya Latifi, a fight that kind of could have gone either way also. But he really went out there and looked good against Alessio Linick, who is a lot smaller than him, though, and is a grappler, though. He's been fighting three straight, very solid grapplers. Now he takes on Curtis Blades, another uh, solid grappler with, I would say, the best grappler of them all, especially wrestling-based grappling, offensive wrestling and ground and pound. Curtis Blades is very good at what he does. Four-fight win streak. In his last fight, he beat Alexander Volkov, who's one of the top contenders in the heavyweight division. Prior to that, beats Junior Dos Santos. I mean, Curtis Blades has looked very good as of late. Two losses as a pro, both to Francis Ngannou. Nothing to be ashamed of there. Derek Lewis... Um, and Curtis are going to have a very opposing styles matchup. You have the striker, the knockout artist, Derek Lewis, versus the, the very dangerous wrestler, Curtis Blades, who does have underrated knockout power. And if he threatens with the takedowns, can actually land strikes on the feet. He did a lot of damage to Junior Dos Santos in their matchup because he has so much threat with the takedown. This man can wrestle so well. And I don't think Derek Lewis is going to be able to stand up to the wrestling. I think Derek Lewis is going to be put on his back. And if he gets back up, he will be put on his back again. I think it's going to to be a one-sided fight. Lewis has the puncher's chance here without a doubt, but it's unlikely he lands something significant to knock out Curtis Blades. I think Blades can also take a pretty good punch. Um, he's a big guy at 260 pounds he weighs in at, you know, Derek Lewis 265. So two of the biggest dudes um, as far as weight goes in the heavyweight division, they're right at the upper limit. Six foot four for Curtis Blades. He does have a white one inch height advantage over Derek Lewis who's 6'3", one inch reach advantage as well, um, 80 to 79. I think on the feet, Derek Lewis threatens with knockout power, without a doubt, but he's not the most technical striker. He tends to throw one punch at a time. I think Curtis Blades could actually land some strikes on the feet, but especially on the ground. He will be threatening with the takedowns throughout. He will gas Derek Lewis out, and I believe he will TKO Derek Lewis here. I believe we see it around the third. I don't think that it goes the full five, but I don't think Derek Lewis gets stopped in the first round. Um, I think it's going to be a wrestling-heavy attack from Curtis Blades from the bell, and we're going to see him TKO Derek Lewis in the third round. Now, as far as betting odds go, they vary from minus three want 345 favorite Curtis Blades uh, to the plus 275 Derek Lewis. I think Blades is a lock pick on this card. I think that he definitely gets it done. As I mentioned, the opposing style matchup, the dangerous one punch knockout artist takes on the very gritty Vicious ground and pound and underrated striker, Curtis Blades. Curtis has this fight. He gets it done here and moves one step closer towards a title shot. Um, we'll see what happens in the next six months or so. He probably will need one more fight in between. The next opponent after Derek Lewis, we would have to see um, who's available at that time. But should definitely be a very fun fight between these two. Grappling heavy, so do expect a lot of ground and pound, though, from Curtis Blades. And I think that's where he gets the fight done is on the floor. TKO, round number three. That is my prediction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel also guys follow my social media instagram twitter and i'll see you all in the next video